Hey guys, AJ here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to change out your uh, AR-15 pistol grip. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be switching to an uh, a Magpul MOE Plus grip. Um, it's similar to the MOE grip. It's just uh, it's like a rubber rubberized kind of feel to it instead of plastic. Um, when you get this in the box from Magpul, it comes with your uh, grip screw and a uh, little base plate for the grip. Um, I actually went ahead and ordered the uh, this is a uh, 1C3A battery uh, storage grip uh, kind of insert. Fits in just like the other one. Just locks in like that. So, uh, you know, you'll be able to store a couple extra batteries for either your flashlight or your optic. Uh, to install this is extremely simple. Um, I have the lower receiver in a uh, in a vice block upside down. Um, like it upside down because I can access the uh, grip screw through here, and uh, you know it just makes it a lot easier. So uh, first thing you want to do is unscrew the uh, the grip screw. Um, in this case, it's uh, it's an Allen head. Uh, sometimes it's a slotted screw, like the one that comes with the uh, MOE grip is a slotted screw. Um, one thing to be careful of is that on, uh, I guess it's the right side of the receiver, but since the gun's upside down on the left side right here, there's a spring that is recessed into the grip uh, that puts pressure on the safety uh, detent. So uh, you just want to be mindful of that when you go to pull this off. You don't want that spring to come falling out and, uh, you know, you go on the floor where you never find it. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to unscrew this uh, grip screw here. I already have it about halfway out, so it should be able to come out right about now. Alright, the uh, grip screw is out of the hole, so I'm going to put my finger on this side of the grip. And just kind of watch for that spring coming out because I don't want to lose it. Just go slow with it. Alright. Let's just pull it on out. And there's the spring recess into the grip right there. I'm going to save that. Alright, so to install the new grip, first of all, just make sure it lines up correctly. Everything looks good. It's not, you know, too tight where you have to take some material off right here. Everything looks good. Uh, I find it easier to get the grip screw through the uh, grip screw hole uh, before you go ahead and actually put the grip on the uh, on the receiver. So there we go, I got it through. You can see the grip screw. Uh, after you do that, you don't want to put your spring into the uh, little recessed hole right here in the grip. Slide it on and make sure that spring lines up right over that safety selector detent. Um, with the spring and the grip in place you should be able to operate your safety see if it engages you know positively. If it does everything's good to go. You just need to go ahead take your flat blade screwdriver and tighten down the grip screw. So we're just going to tighten down this uh, slotted grip screw all the way, make sure it's nice and snug. It's starting to get a little harder to turn, but I still see it's a little loose, so I have a little bit of ways to go. That's pretty tight, yeah, that's solid. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Uh, take it out of the receiver block now. Um, you know, feels good in the hand. It's not loose or anything. Safety uh, still positively engages and disengages. Um, you can give your safety, I guess, a quick 
check just to make sure. But uh, yep, everything's good to go. Um, of course, I'm just gonna throw some extra batteries in here and install this into uh, bottom. And I'll have some extra storage for some uh, some CR one two three A's. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you have any uh, questions, comments, just uh, let me know. Leave them in the uh, comments below, and uh, I'll get back to you. All right, thanks, guys.